Hello, good afternoon. Um, we have been speaking about COVID-19 for many of the episodes. Today, I wanted to speak about a complication which is arising in children out of COVID-19. So, in my previous video, I had told that in children, COVID-19 seems to be mild or most of the time asymptomatic and largely children have been well. So now, there is a possibility that children might have got exposed to COVID-19 from the adults or they might have become mildly symptomatic with cold, slight fever or sore throat. Usually the illness has lasted for two to three days and has resolved. However, after three or four weeks, some of the children have developed high grade fevers, sometimes red conjunctive, that which is red eyes, rashes all over the body, having features of vomiting or loose motions, or having difficulty in breathing or very very tired feeling. So this seems to be a multi-system inflammatory syndrome which seems to be triggered by COVID-19 virus. How exactly this happens seems to be still unclear and many of uh, the theories are still evolving and over a period of time we would be able to answer this question but this syndrome is definitely being seen in children if we take up american data of children of afro-caribbean origin and children of spanish origin which is hispanics seem to have more of this syndrome fortunately in india this syndrome is very less in number although it is happening i myself have seen two cases in the last couple of weeks so what is important here is if any child is getting high grade fevers lasting for more than three days and extreme tiredness loose motions or vomiting the parents should visit their own pediatrician and if needed get the child admitted and get the necessary tests done uh, early recognition and early treatment saves lives because once a pediatrician identifies this cluster as multi-system inflammatory syndrome then the treatment is available it is giving two grams per kilo immunoglobulin Usually this is done in hospitals where a good pediatric ICU setup is available but prompt recognition is the key here. Thank you.